Welcome back. The second session of the Synod on Synodality takes place in October. Pope Francis recently made a change that could shape the long-term process of synodality itself. The Holy Father has introduced 10 themes, one per study group, to be discussed by church experts through June 2025. Topics include caring for the poor, the church's involvement in the digital world, and controversial topics such as the possibility of women deacons. Pope Francis has tasked Cardinal Mario Grech to coordinate the study group. Matthew Bunsen, Vice President and Editorial Director for EWTN News, joins us now. Matthew, great to be with you as always. So tell us, why has Pope Francis taken this route of introducing study groups? Well, in his letter uh, to Cardinal Grech, who as the General Secretary for the whole of the Synod, uh, has the, the duty of sort of shepherding this whole synodal process, uh, the Holy Father stressed that uh, emerging out of the discussions last October in the Synod on Synodality Part 1, uh, there were a number of very complicated theological and pastoral issues uh, that were raised and that need to be studied further. So the Holy Father has appointed 10 study groups to look into those key theological, pastoral, and even canonical topics. And uh, that's the primary reason. The other thing he's trying to do is to narrow the focus of the actual synod on synodality itself to explore what he describes the, the question of how to be a synodal church on mission. Uh, so it's going to have a much narrower focus than it did last October, and he's leaving it to the study groups uh, to explore the, the complicated issues theologically. Yeah, Matthew, now that we have these study groups, what will be the role of the Synod on Synodality in October? Yeah, well, that's exactly one of the questions that was raised. Uh, we had two documents that were released. We had this uh, explanation of the study groups and what their tasks are going to be. But then there was uh, an exploration uh, of what exactly is left to do by the, the Synod on Synodality this October. And it goes back to that question of how to be a church, a synodal church, on mission. And the Holy Father and Cardinal Grech laid out some key principles to that. It looks very much like it did uh, as we were heading into the first session last October, and that is be a, a church of listening, what it means to have a symphonic uh, discussion among all of the levels of the church. So we have, of course, the diocesan level, we have the Episcopal conferences, we have the continental level. So much of the discussion is also going to be focused on what Pope Francis refers to uh, as this communications, these conversations in the spirit. Uh, and that means listening, that means accompaniment. So again, many of the things that they covered last October, but the Holy Father really wants him focused exclusively this time on what it means to be a synodal church. Yeah, Matthew, who's going to be running these study groups and what's going to happen, you know, between now and October? Yeah, well, the Holy Father, as, as we've been discussing, has listed out 10 themes that they want to cover, and, and they run the whole gamut of the relationship with the Latin and Eastern Catholic churches. All of those study groups are going to be headed uh, by elements of the Roman Curia, depending upon their area of specialization. Uh, one thing that's important to stress, however, is that two of the most controversial of those topics, uh, one relates to ministry, where the question, a uh, possible question of women deacons has emerged, and then another one dealing with the, the controversial moral and theological issues of our time. Both of those study groups are going to be headed by a name that's very familiar to, I know, to our audience, and that is Cardinal Victor Manuel Fernandez, uh, who is the prefect for the Dicastery of the Doctrine of the Faith. Those are his groups. So in many ways, uh, this is going to be his show going forward as these study groups work together. The Holy Father, however, has uh, tasked Cardinal Grech with the duty of making sure that all of these study groups are properly synodal. So we're going to see over the next months two tracks, uh, the work of the Synod on Synodality continuing till its opening in October, but then we have these study groups that are supposed to give a report right before the Synod on Synodality, but their mandate extends well beyond that uh, to June of 2025 and quite probably beyond. Well, Matthew, thank you so much for breaking this all down for us. We appreciate your insights as always. Great to be with you.